This will look at the gross profit method of inventory estimation. Estimating inventory is used for insurance claims for lost inventory. It's often used for loan application requirements. And auditors will use this to test for the appropriateness of the valuation of the assets. can be used for interim reports, at least the gross profit method. Budgeting and forecasting is also one area using estimation techniques. There's the gross profit method and the retail inventory method. And of the retail inventory, there's three different ways to calculate it. We're going to focus with this video on the gross profit method. It is not allowed for annual reporting. It provides only an approximate estimate. And the key is to reliability is gross profit ratio accuracy. Remember, another term is gross margin. You have beginning inventory plus your net purchases. This gives you goods available for sale. Subtract your cost of goods sold to give you ending inventory. Because remember, that's what you want to estimate. What is my inventory? The cost of goods sold is an estimate. Historic sales and gross profit percentage are used. So how do I get the ratio? Sales minus cost, that's gross profit. Take the gross profit divided by sales. There's your percentage. So the gross profit method for estimating inventory. I start with my beginning inventory. This is what I have from my books. Plus my purchases, so now I know what's available. But I don't know cost of goods sold, and I don't know ending inventory. So I take my net sales less my estimated gross profit based on the percentage I'm using to give me an estimated cost of goods sold. Subtract that from the goods available. That's my estimated ending inventory. It's a fairly easy calculation, actually. Just remember what is an estimate. It is not allowed for annual reporting. It provides only an approximate estimation. And the key to reliability, again, is the percentage.